Hey YouTube, uh, this is going to be a review of the Switch Easy Rebel Serpent. Um, it's going to be a quick review because I don't really have all the parts, I don't have the boxes, I just wanted to do it real quick. This is, I don't have any of the things that it came with, I'm just going to show you just the overview of the case and what I've thought about using it for a while. Uh, this is the, the Rebel Serpent Skeleton. It did break on me, but that's completely my fault. They're very tough when they do um, and it doesn't really hinder it when I do put it on um, and I did go ahead and buy a red red skeleton which I don't use that much it's a bit bright but I did buy that as well um, so let's just go ahead it does come with um, all of their the dock connector and so on so let me just show you how it we'll put it in like this it does go on very good and this is going to be this is like the first part of it where it's just a hard plastic it's not a silicone but it's not really a ABS plastic so um, this does go on the first and it has ridges inside of it and the ridges are a little deeper than the regular rebel um, but it does fit for the other rebel so for the serpent we're just gonna put it on and how I like to do it is just from the top so I put it on from here and just press down and then they all snap into place I did as I said break this but that was my fault but when I put it on it doesn't look bad you can't even tell that it's broken at all so um, that's this case right here this is um, the rebel serpent again I think it's more expensive than if you were just to buy the regular rebel but I really like this design and it really does look a little more professional than say a silicone case I, I wear it when I'm going out for the most part um, so let's just get to the stuff in the front of it it does cover up the bezel a little bit a little bit does show um, on the side you do have the volume rocker which is let me angle that right um, yeah that's good so the volume rocker it's a bit hard to push it's not it's not as soft as silicone but it does do the job and then you do have the volume rocker where you can turn that on and off. It's a little, I guess, chamfered out so you can get to it a little bit easier. And then on the top, the port is open. I do think that it does come with um, little plugs that you would put in there, but I obviously have had this for a while, so I don't have those anymore. And then this, um, the home wake button, that's it's a little hard to push at sometimes let me see sometimes it does sometimes the case does slip down so sometimes it does get a little bit hard but it's not that bad it's not anything that I wouldn't like the, about the case um, and then on the bottom we have an open just an open area basically and as you can see it's sagging a lot um, but I do think that they on their new designs or I'm not really sure but I think on their new cases they figured out how to do it where it's just a complete mold so that the sagging is prevented um, but that's one negative I do have about this case that after a while if you can see that there you go so after a while it does sag and it does show your the bezel a little bit but I still like it it's it's pretty cool and it's it's one of my sleekest cases it looks real nice um, even though I did break it um, so let's take this off and I'll show you the red one real quick and taking them off I just pop out one side and just pop out the other side and it just comes up like that um, and before I put the red one on I just I'm gonna, I don't know if I can catch it let me see if I can get the light over a little more because this is this is a softer plastic on here and this is a harder plastic and because it does rub against these are kind of sharp edges in here because it does rub against it it does mess up the silicone the first time I used it it like really scratched up the silicone sorry my camera sucks where I can't really show you but let me see if I can get into the light uh, I guess you can kind of see it there where it does scratch it up but you can't see it when this is on there so I don't really mind none of what you can see is on there so it's not that bad so again we'll just put this 
on straight through and just pop these on as i said this is the rebel serpent so this um these rebel essential skeletons they were made for the original rebel but it does fit on this one but it is a little bit raised it's not flush so it still feels good there's nothing but if you can see the, the black is a little bit higher than the the red skeleton um but yeah i think it's about 28.99 i'm not sure with three dollar shipping i did buy this a while ago i do like the case it's it's pretty cool it's not that shock absorbent i guess the the plastic does but it's nothing compared to like a ice can revo which does um protect the shock and then i always like to do this i use my this is what i use when i'm going anywhere i put this on and this is the ice can revo clip i use this with all my cases just to hold it on my waist it clips on very good see my reviews if you haven't already seen them where i did um, review this with the ice can revo when i first got it um, but the switch easy rebel does fit into it as well and there you go and you can use it as a movie stand or so on it doesn't really fit in this way it does start to than the, the plastic this is the thing i don't like about it it does give it a little bit of friction when going in but it's it's still a little pain just because of that that blowing out but i do think they have fixed it with their future designs um anyway this is yellow jacks 3 signing out i hope you like the review of the switch easy rebel serpent and the rebel essentials um skeleton